So I'm versing a Yasuo. Um, usually in this lane, you want him to push into you. That way you can try to battle him like level 3 or something. With Longsword or D-Blade, whatever you choose to start. Good, he's pushing. <clears throat> yeah, we're not going to be able to fight him here. I love mid lane. Did I not kill that, by the way? <laughs> like, my damage output compared to his, dude. No way. That's real. Yeah, no, that's the only reason why I lost that fight, is because I got hit by that last Q. I don't think I should have gotten hit by it personally, but I got hit, so what can I do? Just happens. Hitbox. Why? Because I can. Nice one, bro. Buffer your fucking E on me again. Why don't he win while my dagger here? So many Yasuo players do that, bro, where they like buffer their E on you, but then you can just jump up behind them and they'll they'll dash backwards. Like never buffer your E on a Katarina, bro. Don't do that. If the cat understands what you're doing, they can just destroy you, like I did. Oh, and by the way, the people that like are newer to the game and don't understand what I'm saying by buffer, I'm talking about input buffering, where you use an ability or an attack on something that's out of your, your range, and your character, as soon as they get in range, they'll use the, the ability or attack. That's what buffering is. Like with these melees, right? I hit Q, I don't have to touch my keyboard, I Q it. That's buffering, right? That's what he did with his E on me. That's why I was able to own him. Yeah, I rechat sometimes in game whenever I have like a little off time. I try to rechat a lot. I'm gonna stay in lane. I'm gonna shove this next wave. Let's go. Fought me all in there. He probably would have won. He never wind walls my daggers, dude. It's kind of concerning me. I don't think he understands the matchup. If he just wins wall, if he wind walls my daggers when I like play really aggressive like that, he can just all in me and solo kill me <laughs> every time. He doesn't understand his power. The power that he holds in this lane. Okay, well he wasted it there because I was. Playing to even, I was playing to bait it there. Leia's topside now. No going back. Ready.
<laughs> Get mid tower. Let's go. You finish the works first before Nashers? You can, whatever, dude. You want magic pen? You want roaming? You can. Up to you. Usually, I I do. Uh, I usually finish my sorks all the time if I can early on. Over getting like raw AP or other components, just because it's it's factually better, right? Like you get the movement speed for roaming. You get some magic pen. Like what's not to, to you know, like about rushing sorks? Yeah, it's just up to you. This skin you can usually buy uh, during Christmas. Ugh. Katarina has a lot of event skins, so... Usually you can pick up her skins during the events. Yeah, like for example, this one you can usually get during Christmas, Death Sworn, Halloween, uh, the uh, the Bilgewater Academy, is that the, the one's called? You know, the pirate one? That's usually during like Bilgewater events you can get. Warring Kingdoms, uh, is during like the Lunar event. What else is there? Red Card, which is like World Cup. Um, I believe that's it. Oh, project? Well, that's for the project event. That's not really like an IRL holiday, you know? Oh yeah, Kitty Cat is also Halloween. It was the first Halloween one. Death Sworn was next. So she has two Halloween skins. Why do I ignite him? I thought we were gonna fight. I want to ignite him first. Auto me, bro. Don't queue. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait two seconds for my sleeper. Yeah, they have zero wards. <laughs> I mean, they're just on top of each other. And I know I can get all my abilities off before the Braum can react, so... There's just no way they win that. <laughs> I think Camille beats me 1v1, by the way. I'm kind of scared of pushing this next wave in. Mm. There's Lilia. Yasuo is here with her. You. Oh, and the Camille. 
Guess I'm going for the grump. Without longsword, Luins gives us less damage, right? Uh, in your ultimate, yes. The the whole interaction between having AD and, and like stacking your loons faster only applies to your ultimate, I'm pretty sure. So, but usually it's not even for your ultimate. It's just for team fighting because you get it back very fast because you hit so many people without your even even without your ultimate, right? You can probably get loons off like one to two times in a team fight. Maybe even three. Wow. She got her kick off again. Before she died. Oh. I had nowhere to go. That was a thick ultimate, bro. That champ's OP. Oh my god. Dude, like, I I have I buy so many items, right? It's like happened the past two games. I buy so many items, my laner gets shield bow plus like boots, and he's like a god. He just gets like a quadra kill, bro. I I buy like so many items, it's just not enough. But I know for a fact, dude, if I go shield bow Katarina, I'm dying. I won't do anything. He was 1 in 3 before he got that quadra kill, bro. Whatever. He's getting closer to his IE. He already has 100% crit. He can just kill people with 2 auto attacks now. What a good design. Huh. I already cleared mid, so they won't be able to push for that tower. Oh. If I run, I don't live either, so... That's kind of- it's hard, hard to like figure out what to do there. 522 shield. The hell? Oh my god. Well, they got that. I'll go mid.
almost died. Like, dude, come on. No going back. But like, why? Like, why is that damage and tankiness and like, why is everything like? It's not necessary, but why is it in the game? Got it! We killed them both! Now I base again. Your team has destroyed a turret. Let's go! Guys, let me eat. Ah! Nice. Did a lot of damage. My Zero did more. Plus 20. Good game.